Pioneer DJ brings some new heat with this hybrid digital analog turntable. You can plug it directly into Rekordbox or Serato to control digital files via seamless DVS, all tone arm free. Or you can simply switch it to analog mode and play your favorite records. There are some neat and pretty well thought out features to dive into here. So let's take a closer look. First, the new Magvel clamp is the key to providing needleless DVS control. This simply clamps on and off the spindle in the center and basically traps the record. And yes, you will be able to buy replacements. The Magvel clamp also allows you to adjust the torque by turning it in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. This is neat and a nice way to allow DJs to set up the feel of the turntables without swapping out slip mats or using special butter rugs. This is one of my favorite features about this design. Also, don't worry if you're using them as analog turntables, you can adjust the torque in the settings too. With the physical torque on the heaviest setting, this is how far it'll spin. And this is with the motor running. Now we'll put it on the lightest setting. It does a full turn counterclockwise. And you'll see that that torque, it's loosened the record off and it actually lifts the record off the slip mat underneath. You can then find somewhere in between. You can see just how much you can control that torque without changing any slip mats underneath. Another cool new feature is the switch on the front, which allows you to change the stopping speed of the platter easily. And we even have the motor off here. For an even slower stop. In DVS mode, you can easily see which software mode you're on, the track's BPM, and the key, or even the utility settings, all via the new OLED screen. So at the moment, we're in the digital mode and we can scratch and control digital records. And then what we could do is simply change this to analog mode here, using the needle mode. We can take this off. There's a nice place to put it just there. You could take your DVS vinyl off. You, don't, you can put any vinyl on at this point, it doesn't matter. And then I could put this back on switch it to phono and then just play physical records. Now obviously if you want to keep a physical record on there you could simply just switch it back and put it on digital vinyl mode and we're back to controlling it because it's this spindle that controls everything here. You'll also notice four built-in MIDI mappable performance pads. You can easily trigger hot cues and samples or MIDI map them to your own favorite features. A dedicated button enables you to switch control from pads one to four to five to eight. And there are also secondary functions available via shift, such as the ability to access stems in Serato. This is great for bringing your favorite pad mode to the turntable whilst having a different pad mode active on your mixer. The pitch fader has two mode buttons, a tempo range giving you the ability to open the range up to wider BPM values, plus a new step pitch mode. Instead of continuous increase or decrease in pitch, you can now just step up by half a tone at a time. This is perfect for performing tone play routines with analog records. Now, Pioneer DJ have assured us that the quality of the turntable has been improved since the original PLX 1000s. For example, a switching power supply is used to eliminate transformer power supply vibration and flux leakage, and unwanted noise is suppressed, resulting in high resolution sound quality. As with the PLX 1000, the upper part of the chassis is made of high mass zinc die cast, 
and the lower part is made of 8mm thick resin to optimise the chassis structure and vibration damping materials. They have also used rubber tubes inside the tone arm to further improve vibration control over the predecessor, the PLX1000. As for connectivity, you can see that the turntables have gold plated phono outs, a ground connection and USB-C. Inside the box, you also get the head shells as well as the dust covers. And there's a lot of weight to go on top of the head shells too. And of course, the all important Magvel clamp. These are really cool. And like I say, you'd basically turn them heavier or lighter. And what it does is it compresses this mechanism here and it compresses that up and down. You'll see there's a sticky bit here, which grips to the record, whichever record you've got on your turntable, it grips nice and strong. Then the spindle goes into this bit here and that's what locks in. And basically when you move this, it turns the spindle to then send the signal to the laptop. Okay, so one of these turntables comes in at an eye-watering $1,399. That's not far from the price of two Technics and more than the price of two Rain 12s. Now, I appreciate this is basically two products in one, but I find it hard to comprehend spending that amount of money on a pair of turntables for personal use. I can understand the need for these in venues where you've got guest DJs and you want that hybrid approach of being able to use normal vinyl or DVS. And I actually think the biggest competitor for this product is Phase, as that technology can turn any turntable into DVS systems. However, there is something very satisfying about having it all in one hybrid product. Now, if you want to see these in action, just head to this video and share your thoughts about this new turntable in the comments below. I'll see you again next time.